Hey everybody, uh, people have been asking me about uh, homemade security pins and it's a pretty simple process. It's really down to practice. Uh, what you do is you take a uh, standard uh, driver pin like this, a couple of files and a, uh, basically a power drill like most people have around the home and uh, you can use it as a sort of makeshift lathe to cut them into all sorts of shapes and what I have here are a few different examples of work that I've done uh, compared to uh, factory made pins. So this is a Medico Biaxial Mushroom pin. This is a uh, similar copy, a copy of that style that I did using a, a spare Yale pin and uh, a file. Uh, this is a American Lock serrated pin. This is an attempt at executing a similar uh, design, again, on one of these old Yale pins that I have. This is a quick set spool. This is a homemade uh, spool. A couple of uh, attempts at homemade uh, barrel pins that uh, didn't quite come out uh, as well as I wanted, but good practice. Uh, these are a couple of uh, examples of a new design that a very clever uh, guy on Lockpicking 101 has come up with called a Lulu. Uh, and I've been playing around with trying to make that and seeing just how well they work because as far as I know, uh, there's no factory version of that. And that's one of the great things about this, uh, about this uh, technique is that you can make pins that you really can't buy or find anywhere. So what we're going to do is gonna put these down and we're going to get out some uh, files like you can get at a hobby store or a craft store or even a, a decent hardware store. Uh, for this, uh, I'm going to use these two half round files. If we can get some actual contrast here because the light's a bit harsh. So you can see uh, it sort of has a curve on this side and kind of a sharp edge right there. And that's what we want for this, uh, for the technique I'm going to show you. We're going to get a couple of driver pins out of this old uh, pin assortment, or uh, HPC pin kit. That I don't know how old that thing is, but it doesn't fit anything anymore. And we're going to take this uh, power drill. We're going to fit one of these driver pins into the chuck and what we're going to do is we're just going to put the very very end of it in we don't want too much of it to be inside the drill because we're actually going to use the face of the drill chuck as kind of a uh, an, an, an index point and we're going to just hold the edge of this file uh, against the pin and just press down very lightly and occasionally we're going to run it along the side of the pin like that. Okay, uh, and you're going to want to turn this the volume down on your video player right now because this is going to get a little bit noisy. Actually, I'm going to reverse the direction on this drill because I'm doing it backwards from how I normally do it. You can see there if again the lighting isn't too bad that uh, you're now getting a little bit of a ridge going on that uh, pin that we have in there and it's looking okay so we're gonna keep going
don't want to slip and it's amazing how difficult it is to do this while trying very hard to not hit the camera. Right. So you want to just stop occasionally and check your progress here. And one more time, and I think we should... There we go. Let's take a look at how we've done. because my hands are only occasionally steady but there you go that's the pin that we just made there and once you clean it up a little bit you can stick that into your lock and now uh, when because this is a driver when that little gap hits the shear line it's going to work uh, a little bit like a very 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 tight mushroom and as long as you're careful to make sure that the angle right here on this little shelf that you've formed is as close to a right angle uh, to the side of the pin or the central vertical axis of the pin. Uh, it should give you a pretty tight lockup. And there's lots of other uh, techniques that you can use. Bosnian Bill has some great examples of uh, threading and, and uh, counter milling and stuff like that. But that's basically how it goes. And you can get really crazy and do something like this, which I did when I was uh, flubbing takes on this. Uh, at the end, I ended up with uh, something that looked like, well, I don't know. But it'll be interesting to see just how well that works when I stick it into a lock. So, until next time, have fun, happy picking, and, uh, you know, play around. There's lots and lots of things you can do. Bye now.